Yeah, John's doing all kinds of stuff. He is doing demos for Premiere. He writes for Premiere. He is on tour with Lee Bryce. He does the CMT, um, hosts the, the band for the CMT Music Awards. He's on, I don't know, he's doing studio stuff. He's like all over the map. And we're excited to hang out with him today. Hey, so we're here with John Bollinger at Music Villa. Hey, love Music Villa. John <laughs> is a local Montana guy. That's right. right? Yeah, yeah. Born in Born Billings, raised, the yes. magic city. Yeah. Yes. Very yeah. magical. Yeah. Today's very magical because it's, you know, 20 some below out. And so you come back on a day where, <laughs> yeah. where, we're, where we're freezing here. But, I feel uh, like I'm home. We've seen you around here for years and uh, it's always great to see you. Yeah. It's always good to have you come back. Always great. And like I say, Paul, this is where I buy more gear here than pretty much anywhere. I have. We I, appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm holding a six string. Nylon Ooh, string banjo. Well, let's but, see um, it. What a, what a. Someone handed me this and then now here you are and here we go. Wow. So it's a. So this is a six string um, good time oh, Solona banjo. Wow. It's a six string, but it's nylon string. How so, crazy. Super so, cool. It's funny because it, it sounds banjo y, <laughs> but yeah. it's kind of got like classical overtones. It's the new age, new age banjo. Yeah, it's cool. John, you've been doing like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of videos. Oh on, yeah, on guitars and amps. And yeah, stuff. the whole premiere guitar yeah. thing. It's it it's is awesome. It's a really fun gig. I mean, I, I um I uh, in Nashville, I've been you know, I moved down to kind of be a songwriter, much like yeah. our friend Costas, yeah. another of uh, yeah. uh, Bozemanite. Yeah. And then just for whatever reason, just kind of fell into the guitar thing. And, and uh, so I've been just, you know, for the last 23 years, just been, uh, you know, working as a touring musician and, and, and uh, you know, playing guitar and mandolin, pedal steel for a lot of people. And, yeah. and then mm -hmm. I fell into the whole, the premier guitar thing. And they were, they were nice enough to let me to continue touring. Like yeah. right now, for the last three years, I've been on tour with, with Lee Bryce, a country artist. But I also do the CMT Music Awards. I've been there MD for the last yeah. eight years. And you write for Premiere. Yeah, you write do for all Premier, the demos. You do, do the, all uh, those things. Yeah. The rig rundown. Right, right, yeah. Awesome. So it never. It, do you ever sleep? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get four hours a night. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah four hours and then a night. You come to Montana. Yeah, that came, came here, yeah. It's awesome, man. We, we always use your videos. We look at them all the time. We, oh, um, great. But, well, you know, you've got such an amazing. Pile like guitars here, man. We have it's a like, ton of gear and guitars, and uh, it's it's gonna be cool. It's cool yeah. to have you here and, and it's hang so out. Cool, you guys, because you're in in the um, the birthplace of of all the uh, Gibson acoustics. Yeah, you've got yeah, a right sweet little cachet of yeah. those. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just take a tour of the store. We'll chat. Cool. Here in the back room of Music Villa, in our uh, fancy room we call it, the uh, this is where all the customs are, all the good stuff, and uh, we're hanging here with John Bollinger. Love being in the fancy Premier room. From Premier Guitar, and uh, it's a cold, blistery day out there, so we're just hanging in here. So we're gonna play some guitars. Yeah, you're, cool. you're gonna play some guitars. Ooh, jeez. I'm gonna talk about them. You're gonna play them. Wow, that's nice. So, what's the story on this guy? HD28. Music Villa model. So wow. basically, what it is is it's an HG28, just like Martin makes, yeah. but we tweaked it a little bit. It's got Golden Era style bracing on the inside, uh, vintage style tuners. It's got a, a nicer uh, nut here called Nut on Angle. The tops on these are they're like a hair thinner, mm. and but it's the Golden Era bracing and all that that really makes these jump up a bit. But one more thing, this guitar is a short scale which does not exist wow except for at music villa so wow, uh, imagine cool. a hg28 but it's a little shorter scale length like a j45 or something wow so different feel you'll, you'll see yeah wow that indian rose so pretty but really cool guitars you know a lot of guys they go i'm in my 50s i need to i, I want a martin dreadnought but it's, it's kind of hard to play yeah short scale yeah that's great yeah That's great. You still get that big Martin, uh, you know, big 
Martin Bluegrassy sound and all that. Yeah. Oh, I do. Although I just want to keep playing this one. You can keep playing that one. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a music store. Ooh, let's see this weirdo. <laughs> this one. This one, I don't even think you can play. I don't even think I have it tuned up. Oh, man. So this guy, this is the wackiest guitar I've ever had. I like I like art guitars. You know? Yeah. I really do. I love them. I've, I've uh, for years collected kind of funny looking stuff. But uh, this one tops at all. This is actually on a like a 1962 J200. Wow. So, you know, a lot of people go, what happened? The guy destroyed this guitar. Yeah. Well, I think it's beautiful. I think it's yeah. art. I mean, it, yeah, right. know, it's not just on a cheap guitar where some guy, Yeah. this has so much like patina and it's just a, I don't know, it's, to me it's like an Americana classic. Yeah. Uh, so, story goes. Uh, you know, the, I, I bought these from another from another guy who had them. You know, story goes the guy who who owned them was in jail, and this was uh, like bail money to get him out. So there's a there, the guy must have been a character. Right. Um, you know, these are just you know for I just bought these for my personal collection. I just love them. I think it's it's one of those guitars you look at it every day, and there's something different about it. Yeah, I love it, man. That is so. I love those. I know. Big Ring. garish rings and it's, yeah, it's wild. That's and, so uh, great. I wonder if one time, I wonder what it would take to make it playable. Yeah, look at what he did here. The bridge fell apart, so he added, <laughs> I <know. he> added us. <laughs> yeah, I, love I mean, that. it's got a pickup in it too. I mean, he 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 played it. I don't know, you know, I don't yeah. know anything about the guy. But then also, it gets you know, <gasps> oh, keeps wow. going. Wow, what is? This. So, same thing. <laughs> That's actually. <laughs> I always wonder what that was. But it just goes through the back to keep the, the top from collapsing. <laughs> this is just covered in, in leather. Oh, wow. Same type of design, though. There, every time you look at it, there's a new feature. Look at the headstock. Oh, that's so. That's cool. a 50s J200. Wow. So. That's so great. So, these are art. You know, I mean, these are not. Yeah, you know they're just they were guitars and they were played. Yeah, but uh, to me now they're just they're basically just artwork. Yeah, and boy, these super were... cool. We just designed up this design with this logo, <sighs> then started with the style five, which is the smallest guitar. Oh, that's great. this was probably the first Hard guitar. Yeah. yeah, first guitar ever made would be this size. Really? Yeah, that's what they were. And they're tuned up. They're tuned up a third. So all the, all the women, all the women played them. And they're great. Yeah, I, th I think I've seen like Marilyn Monroe with yeah, a little yeah, guitar like this. And in the early, early oh. ones, it was all orchestras of women. Playing, oh, really? Playing those. Or like Audrey Hepburn in um, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah. I think she's playing a yeah. guy like this. Wow, so that's the big one. So is that a D18? Yeah. yeah. Basically, exactly. Oh, be a D18. Boy, with a herringbone trim. Yeah. Wow. I've got a I've got a, a 46 D18, and it's just the yeah. Well, you know, they just sound so yeah. so good, man. Yeah, these and are this is killer. Cool. This thing is awesome. This yeah. is a little mini expression. Oh yeah, yeah. I love those. Well, yeah. it's that's the cool thing about about Premier Guitar because like they they uh, they're like the Consumer Reports. I mean, yeah. there's there's other companies doing what we do, but they 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 get paid to to show what stuff does, so it's right. not always objective. Right. But our editors, it's like um, they will look at somebody that's making pedals in their garage, right. and then they'll look at Dunlop and 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 JHS and 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 Gibson and Fender and whatever yeah. and PRS, they look at the biggest companies and the smallest yeah. companies yeah. and give everybody a fair shake. What do you do when you play something and you absolutely 
hate it. Well, I, I, I kind of feel like this. Like if somebody, it's like this is their baby. If somebody yeah. went to the trouble of designing this, there's something cool in there. So I really try and find, like I'll spend, I'll spend some time yeah. just trying to find what's cool about it. And you can usually find something cool. And, that, and about you know, it. and the thing is, I do that with, with acoustic guitars. It's like, it's not about what if I hate it or not. Because right. It's not really. Yeah. Because every time if I find something that I that I dislike a little bit, someone else loves it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's it's funny, man. There's there's people that tone is so, such a subjective yeah. thing. Yeah. And there's people that that uh, I'll never forget. I was I was playing uh, playing guitar with Costas. We were doing some some like a jam at his house and he was plugged into some amp that was jacked up and it sounded horrible i mean it sounded horrible but he ended up going into this like birds thing yeah. and it was it perfect, perfect. It, it's I know. like that oh. I know. so you know I see that all the time people yeah. use a different pick they play a different style right and one guy can the guitar sounds horrible and the other guy picks it up it sounds amazing yeah and vice versa and maybe the tone kind of inspires where it's supposed to go you know that's that's what that's what i dig about it you can find you, know, you can look around and you know when you, when you play you can kind of let it sort of tell you where to go. Right. Boy, this is a pretty guitar. That is, that's the PRS uh, 594. That's a private stock model. Wow. This is the first one that they've ever done with this wood. It's called tulip wood. Wow. And uh, just beautiful. They, they're making amazing stuff. They, yeah, 594 man. 594 is a very cool guitar. It's a, it's a great company. Yeah. I mean, they, they really, they do just killer work. Yeah. They really, uh, they really think about. I mean, everything they do, they really, they really want it right. Yeah, I so I know you do this like you know for a living. You, know, you come in here and it's like, yeah. What well, I love about you is you're still excited, and that's the thing about oh, guitars. Yeah. Uh, every day is like Christmas. We get guitars in the door every day. I've been doing this for 20 years, but every day it's like, oh, I want to open that up and look at it. Yeah. You're kind of the same way with oh, gear. You totally, love gear. Oh, totally, man. Yeah. I, I love this stuff. I, I, I love it, man. And that's what I really love about the Premier Guitar thing. You said yeah. I look at like every kind of cool thing that comes out. Totally. Um, you know, I'll, uh, they'll send it to my place, I'll do a little video, and then regrettably yeah. I have to send it back. Right, yes. Hate that part. No, everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks you just get all this gear for free. Yeah, you know? well, and, and the thing is, like, I, I've, um, because I, I've, uh, uh, you know, when you, when you do a lot of TV and stuff like that, people yeah. give you stuff, yeah. you know, it's, it's in, in, part of the, yeah, it's part of the, the yeah. spoils of it. It's, yeah. the endorsement thing is cool, but, um, We're gonna give you a T-shirt. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay, I, I uh, love your T-shirts. Well, <laughs> but but with Premier Guitar, we really never want to be beholding to anybody. Sure. So yeah, um, you know, so I don't get to uh, don't get to keep the stuff as much as yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Um, but over the years, you know, you do enough TV and you will get some stuff. So I've got I've I have oh, yeah. a lot of gear and I sure. spend I drive a '92 Mercury Grand Marquis. There you go. But at any given time, I can have five thousand dollars of the gear exactly. in my trunk. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. that's a typical musician. He's got like yeah. a five hundred dollars car. He's heading yeah. to a fifty dollars gig, but he's got a thousand dollar rig. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. conservatively. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.